What is cooking? Palak Paneer Bhurji. Wow! It looks awesome. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Let's start the recipe. This is the spinach I'm going to use. I'll be chopping it using the scissors. It becomes very easy. Just take handful of spinach. Make a small bunch and start chopping like this. It save a lot of time rather than chopping it using a knife. So this bowl has holes at the bottom which makes it very easy to wash the spinach or anything to drain pasta or anything. If you don't have any such bowl you can just wash it normally as you do. Now I chopped some onion garlic and ginger i'll make a paste of it one tomato and cottage cheese so i added some water to the small blender so that i can get a nice paste and now i'm making tomato puree added some water in this as well so ginger garlic paste and tomato puree is ready now Heat a pan or a wok, add in some oil. I grated the cottage cheese and the oil is hot. Then I added cumin seeds and asphodida. I used olive oil, you can use uh, clarified butter, ghee, or uh, mustard oil as well. Now, I added the chopped onion. Now, sorted the onion until they turn translucent or even golden brown so this is white onion this, this will not turn red it will remain like somewhat golden but in India it can become brown because in India we have red onions now I add a ginger garlic paste and then tomato puree we need to cook it until the paste that gets thickened added some salt to taste then added some uh, turmeric powder around half a teaspoon then garam masala half teaspoon and this is kitchen king masala half teaspoon I added two types of masalas if you don't have kitchen king masala you can just add one teaspoon of garam masala or half teaspoon of garam masala depending on how much spices you want to add even you can skip that if you want a very simple taste so just keep stirring it so that it don't get burned from the bottom we need to cook it until it thickens you can cover it so that if it splatters your kitchen or your clothes don't get dirty just keep stirring in, in between it's almost done now I'm adding the chopped spinach the spinach looks very high in quantity as of now but when it starts cooking it will it will become very less now toss it a little bit add some water around half cup because uh, spinach is also going to release some water so we don't need to add much water in this just toss it and then we will cover it and cook when we cover and cook it gets cooked easily and in less time now again you can just keep checking and stirring it occasionally as you can see the quantity of the spinach has become almost half and it has released some water as well 
so we need to cook it until the spinach cooks properly it takes around 10 minutes on medium flame now i'm adding some frozen peas and corn i just love them and hence i'm adding them if you don't want to add that's absolutely fine now just mix it well and cover it and cook until the peas are cooked properly corn will not take much time but the peas might around 5 minutes now I'm adding the grated cottage cheese so I grated the cottage cheese paneer because in Canada the paneer is very hard so if you live in India you can either grate it or you can even use small pieces so sometimes I make this bhuji because the paneer cubes are uh, hard here in Canada and when your veg curry gets cold the the cottage cheese cubes get even harder you have to heat them again and again when I was in India I used to add the cottage cheese at the end just before closing the gas but here I have to cook it for at least three to four minutes so that it gets cooked properly now I added some chili flakes you can add the chili powder if you have I don't have that so I'm adding this you can have it as it is or cook it until it gets dry because we are making a bhurji which should be a little dry I'm adding some raisins green raisins I like them so if you want to skip you can skip that but it tastes good when you when you get some sweet taste in between this there is corn peas and it is so flavorful believe me you can have it with rice rotis parathas tortillas you can even fill it in sandwiches or put it on a toast for breakfast or any meal now it's almost done and i'm turning off the flame and it is ready to be served I hope you enjoyed watching this I'm adding some green chilies I always add the green chili when it stops cooking so that it don't become very spicy and you will feel the taste of the green chilies just when you get it in a bite it looks so beautiful and as I mentioned you can have it with anything rice roti or anything so please try this recipe and let me know in the comment section how you like it. Subscribe to my channel for more such recipes.